Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Alright, today I bought this picture out for a reason. Jack, Lil' Dan, y'all know. The other one is my cousin, Peebo. He was the party man. When I was getting mad money, Peebo was throwing cabarets and parties all over the city. Arden Hall, Light Guard Army, down up on Woodward, up over the little spot there. So this is my cousin Peebo, who was the party man. And one day I'm going to tell y'all about how he saved my life. So I love Peebo to death forever. But let me give you this story. This picture was taken at Club Network. It was a club right there in Detroit, right across from the Broadway, down on Broadway. This is the day, this picture was taken the day I met Al Prophet. This is the reason why I remember. Jack, my little cousin Dean, had took me to Ohio. We had eight hung out and shit. And he took me over there to put the flash dance on me, showed me the million dollars, all of that. Then I came back after that and I went with Junior out on Telegraph by Shields and Nicola's Barbecue is where we met Al Prophet, okay? When we met Al Prophet, it was like this. Al Prophet had said some shit like, nowadays, the drug game is no more than a minimum wage paying job. And I looked at him. He fucked me up when he said that. I'm going to be honest with y'all, and I want y'all to know. That fucked me up. Because my little cousin, Dean, at this time, Dean was getting down with another guy by the name of Pancho, who was getting mad money. At this time, Dean was still playing with a million when he was getting down with Pancho because his man, Will, had went to jail the one that he was getting mad money with from Ohio. At this point, Will had went to jail and he was fucking with Pancho and he was getting major money, okay? And he had showed me a million from a house he had bought out in the suburbs and out there flash dancing, which we all love to do. And Al Prophet gonna come back and tell me that the drug game was no more than a minimum wage paying job. I looked at that motherfucker like he was crazy. Jack just showed me a million. Poncho kicking ass. Pissy man is kicking the motherfucking dough down. My cousin fucking Terrell, who is no longer with us, just like Lil' DNA. Terrell was running back and forth to Arizona. Terrell was kicking the motherfucking dough down for all of y'all who may know him. Now, all of these people understand this. Everybody gets a turn. The dope game will always be profitable. Here's the trick. The game stays the same, but the faces change. Right now, motherfuckers out there getting money like me, my dad, Demetrius, everybody. The faces done change, but the game hasn't. Motherfuckers still out there getting millions of dollars. They may not be as nice as Eddie Jackson, Bumpy Johnson, and others were. But the game is still the same. They just some hard-hearted motherfuckers out there that's getting it. They don't leave no room and no fat in the package for other brothers to get it. But let me go back to saying this. What I really wanted Al Prophet to know too when we had that meeting that day, he also said, oh, everybody wants me to make them famous. And I looked at him and said, hold up, bro. I, I didn't say this to him, but in my mind, I said, hold up, stop. Brother, I don't want to be famous. I want to be rich. I've never had a desire to be famous. I've always had a desire to play with them M's. So when I'm doing this, my desire is not to be rich. I mean, not to be famous. It is to be rich. I want the M's. I'm not in this for a motherfucker say, hey, that's Eddie Jackson. So I'm in this, the motherfucking where them new motherfucking Jimmy Child $6,500 diamond shoes. That's what I'm in this shit for. For them motherfucking Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo got a bad motherfucking pair of new diamond sneakers out that I got to have. And them motherfuckers cost $6,500. That's why I do what the fuck I do. When I wear $3,500 red bottoms, 
You understand? That's why I get down for the money. I don't get down for the fame. I get down because I likes the money. You understand? So let me straighten that out. So if my brother don't have to come at me, hey, I'll make you famous. Brother, I don't want to be famous. Tell me you'll make me rich and we can sit down and talk any day with anybody. And, I, and throughout my whole life, any person that had that attitude, whether we were selling drugs or anything else, we had a conversation to talk about. You understand? So I just want people to know that it's not about being famous. It's about being rich. And as they always said, and my father used to say to me all the time, every day, Eddie, it's lonely on the top. You don't want to be the king, man, because everybody out for you. It's lonely on the top. And anybody who is king knows that. You understand? Because I'm going to say this for you all to understand. The drug game is the same today as it was in my day and every other day before that in Lucky Luciano, Bumpy Johnson, Al Capone. The game is the same. The faces have changed in the names. But the game is the same. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., real true street crime, just telling you about when I met Al Prophet and what he said to me. And I'm looking at motherfuckers playing with a million right then as he talking about a low-wage paying job. He lost me there because I couldn't relate to that because I didn't know nothing about no motherfucking low-wage paying job. Terrell, as I say to y'all, Terrell was kicking the motherfucking dough down coming out of Arizona with that good-ass Arizona weed. He was getting a couple hundred pounds at a time. You understand? Terrell would run into a little trouble. He'd go get the lawyers I used to point towards Steve Sharp, which was Steve Fishman's main man. So Terrell used to keep Steve Sharp. You understand? So when he went to talking that, well, it ain't never been about no low-wage paying job here. It's been about a high risk it's a lot of risk in the job. You throwing bricks at the penitentiary for a lifetime. I've been throwing bricks at the penitentiary. Every time I ride with D with that 500 keys or pick up 150 or one, I'm throwing a motherfucking brick at the penitentiary because that's the chance I'm taking. You understand that most niggas don't know that, that they throwing bricks at the penitentiary to that motherfucking brick break master's window. Then you realize what you was throwing at. You understand that most niggas stand up and poke out their chest and tell the motherfucker how real they is. They can't do that with me because my father died in a federal correctional penitentiary for 60 years for a nonviolent crime given by Avery Cohen, which was the biggest miscarriage of justice I have ever seen in my life, and I have to keep saying that because the fat man was my man, and I'm going to always battle, put the bottle cry out for how you motherfuckers fucked over the fat man, and I'm going to let it be known until I'm gone. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crimes. This is my ice of cold shaped tea. Put it in a bottle of cold water, shake it up. With some exercise, it'll help suppress your appetite and you'll lose weight. If you like, take a look on my link. Go to shop categories, go to health and wellness is where you'll find my Alleviate Cream at to alleviate all your pains. It's a CBD product and we got a new peel in. If you need a boost, it is on my link. If you need a boost, take a look at it. This is also a CBD product. It is my harmony drops. Drop two under your tongue. Let it sit for 60 seconds and then swallow. And as I always say to you all, my before and after pictures, pictures are on my Facebook. Go on there and you can take a look at my before and after pictures. And I keep telling y'all I'm going to start posting more and more. And as I get them in, I will. And I appreciate and I thank all my subscribers from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who take time to listen at my stories. Thank you especially to everybody who go to my link and buy something. Thank you especially. 
And thank you to everybody who share this and who like it. Thank you to everybody. I am out. Love.